In this video, we will show you how to connect your Zone Pro hardware to Zone Pro Designer. This will allow you to configure the device for use with your specific application. The first thing you'll need to do is download Zone Pro Designer from www.dbxpro.com. This can be found by clicking on Products, Zone Pro, and choosing the appropriate hardware. For this example, we will be using a Zone Pro 640. Click on Downloads and select Zone Pro GUI Designer version 3.2. This will take you to another page where you can begin the download. Once it's downloaded, run the installer and simply follow the prompts. After Zone Pro Designer is installed, you will need to do a few things before launching the software. First, connect the Zone Pro to your computer via Cat5 Ethernet crossover cable or the Null Modem RS-232 cable. Note that you cannot use a straight-through RS-232 cable. No modem cables have pins that cross as shown here. If you're using a null modem to USB adapter, make sure that you're using one of these tested cables and that you have installed the driver for that specific adapter. Second, you'll need to know which COM port you're using. You can find this under Device Manager on your computer. Click the Ports, COM, and LPT drop-down menu. You will see USB serial port with the COM you're using. In this case, we're using COM8. Take note of which COM is listed here. The third thing you'll need to do is set your baud rate. Right-click on the COM port and select Properties. Then click on the Port Settings tab. The bits per second field should be set to 57600. Now you're ready to launch Zone Pro Designer. By default, it installs version 2.1, version 3.2, and Flasher 2. Make sure you launch version 3.2. It should automatically open the network setup window. Click Next to get started. Click the box for the connection you're using. If you're using Ethernet, uncheck Use Serial Ports and check Use Ethernet. If you're using RS-232, uncheck Use Ethernet and check Use Serial Ports. You'll also need to select your COM port for this option. We'll choose COM8 since that's what was listed under Device Manager. Click on Next twice and you'll see the detected device. Click Finish to exit the setup wizard. When using Ethernet, you might receive an IP address or subnet mask error. If this happens, you'll need to change the IP address of your device. First, you'll need to know your computer's IP address. You can find this by clicking Start on your computer and typing Command Prompt into the search bar. Open the Command Prompt and type ipconfig. Here you will see your computer's IP address. In Zone Pro Designer, click on the Network tab and choose Address Tool. Click on the IP address and select Change Address. Enter an IP address in the same range as your computer. Enter the subnet mask and the default gateway. finish. It will then allow you to connect to the device. If your device doesn't automatically populate into the window after setup, then you'll need to click on the Network tab and select Go Online. You should now see an icon of your Zone Pro hardware. Remember, do not simply add a device from the device menu or you'll be working in offline mode and none of your changes will be loaded into the hardware. Now that you're connected, double-click the Zone Pro icon to start making changes. If you have any questions, please visit www.dbxpro.com. 